Okay, so actually there is one more thing I have to do. Uh, I'm gonna add a pin, and this is gonna be for when we fade in. Because we want our characters to also be able to fade into a location instead of just appearing there like we can do right now. So back in our dialog, I also made a um, another line for our, t our script, and it's just gonna be Yuri saying, okay, fine, I'm back. And here what we're gonna do is tell Yuri at an enter event, we're going to tell Yuri to modify a name, that name being fade in, and we're going to fade in at the left. Let's save that, and go back to our participant, and over here in our switch in name, in our fade in pin, uh, well, we're going to switch on the name value. I mean, we're going to find, sorry, not expression, we're going to find the uh, local variable positions. We're going to find a position we want to fade in at. We're going to set our position, our character's image. We're going to set the render translation to be at the correct position. So split this translation X right there. We also need to make sure to set our target X to be this um, position. Otherwise, we're going to start moving back to where we used to be as soon as we uh, uh, up here over here and as soon as we start fading in over here. We also want to set our character's render opacity to be zero because we want them to start at zero and then fade in. And we're also going to set the fade or sorry uh, target opacity to be one. And we're going to return here. So let's test this out. Compile, save, and play. Start in a sad, and then Yuri fades back in. Great, so that works. Also, one last thing I want to do, uh, just before I forget, because I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but I keep forgetting. Um, when we get to the end of the script, our dialogue goes away, but the menu never comes back up, so we can't start a new game or anything like that. Or, you know, go to credits or something. Um, so let's do that, go to our dialogue. When we click to continue, when we choose child zero, and we branch based off if we ended the dialogue or not, it doesn't set, it doesn't um, show our menu. So let's do that. We're gonna get our oh, where is it? Menu widget. Here it is. And add to viewport right after we remove ourselves from the parent. Compile, save, and play. Start, and just go to the end, and we have our menu again. Except this is the menu for when we're in game, which is strange. Um, if we go to our menu, when we check to see if we're in game, we're checking to see if our dialogue context is valid. And if we go back to our dialog, let's find a instance of our dialog context. There it is. Apparently, it is still valid. Um, so, after we branch, if it, if we ended our dialogue, we're going to set our dialogue context over sorry over here. We're just going to set it to be nothing, and then we're going to remove ourselves from parent and show the menu. So, press play, start, go to the very end, and we are back to the main menu with the buttons appropriate for the main menu. Alright, 